Hey guys, welcome to episode three, and I'm gonna show you how to replace your Radio Master gimbals with these high precision AG01 gimbals. So why would you wanna replace these gimbals in the first place? Well, when you buy the TX16S or the Max version, uh, the gimbals aren't as precise as I'd like them to be. So especially flying around precise, I have to actually add a lot of dead band in beta flight in order to compensate for the jittery stick feel that's in the center and the outside of the sticks. So uh, we're gonna leave some links down in the video description. So if you have a Radio Master TX16 and you wanna follow along, um, you can go and purchase those gimbals uh, from Radio Master directly or some of the links that we'll leave down in the video description. They're about 130 bucks, they're quite expensive, but they're ultra precise and ultra uh, responsive. So I'm gonna show you how to get your Radio Master AG01 gimbals in your Radio Master TX16. So the first thing we need to do is we need to break open the radio, but before we do that, if you look here on the back, we actually have to disconnect the battery. So uh, in order to do that, you wanna slide this case back and you never wanna work on your controller unless the battery is removed. So we're gonna remove the battery. And then we're also gonna remove our crossfire unit here. Now to access this, you're gonna need a 2.5, a two, and a Phillips screwdriver. The 2.5s are for the top ones, so you'll take those screws out. And then there's four screws. There's one, two, three, and four, and you'll remove those. Next, you're gonna wanna remove your uh, protectors here on the side, and it's pretty easy. If you just slide your finger in the back, they should pop right out. and they're just press fit in with these clips here. So you just take your finger in between and you should be able to break that right open. Don't be alarmed here, there's a lot of electronics going on, but we're really just gonna be replacing one wire. Um, first we wanna label our wires. So right here we have two speaker wires and I'm gonna label this one So I'm gonna put one piece of tape on that side and one piece of tape on this side. And that way I know when I disconnect this wire and this wire, I know what they're going to. So I'm gonna disconnect the speaker wires and set that off to the side. Now what we gotta do here is we gotta replace these gimbals and you'll notice that the wire that you're gonna replace is this one right here. This one runs to the gimbals, it has two channels. And then this one right here runs to the gimbals and that has two channels. So if you're confused as far as uh, the diagram of your layout, go ahead and take a photo with your phone or a camera. Make sure that you connect the cables back into the same location. So we're gonna disconnect this wire here. And then there's four screws that hold it to the main plate. If you look right here, there's gonna be one here, one here, one here, and one right behind the back side. So you're gonna remove those four screws, pop the gimbal out, and, uh, and then install the new one. This right here, this is the throttle side. So you're gonna wanna install your gimbal without the tensioning spring on this side. The other one tensions to the, the midpoint. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you install the correct gimbal on the right side of your radio. So that one's removed. Let's make sure we grab the throttle side here. And yeah, that's the throttle side. Doesn't auto center. Uh, one thing you're gonna have to do, is you're gonna have to remove this gold uh, plate. So you'll just stick your finger in the back and pop it right out of place. Next we'll install a gimbal and you wanna make sure that the wire is going out towards the right side of the radio. And then you'll take your screws and go ahead and get those installed. All right, now we'll work on the second one. This is the roll and pitch channel. And same thing applies. You'll just pull out the screws and replace the gimbal. And then same thing here, you're gonna to wanna to pull out this gold plate. 
So we'll set that to the side. And we'll drop the new gimbal in. Again, making sure that the cable goes out to the right side or the left side. And sometimes it's a bit tricky to get this top screw in. So I would probably start with that one. Um, and it helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver too. Cause it's like right in the corner. There we go. Okay. We'll pop the rest of them in here. And we'll route this cable to the same spot we unplugged it. Just make sure they're fully seated. And they are. Okay. So gimbals are in. Cables are plugged in. We got to put the back plate back on, put the radio on, and I'm going to show you how to calibrate the sticks in the controller. These side clips are pretty easy to put in. These holes right here just line up with these holes here. And then on the back side, you have three little clips that these uh, three clips line into. Alrighty, we'll put our crossfire back in. And then we'll put our battery back in. So our gimbals are installed. And just feeling the sticks right now, I will say that I need to have a little bit more uh, height on my stick feel. So I can just uh, twist these guys a little bit and adjust the height that way. So your gimbals are in. And the first thing you need to do is turn on your radio. So I have the drone plugged in, we'll connect to beta flight, and then we'll head over to the receiver tab. So we'll click on that, and right now you can see that the roll channel and the pitch channel and even the yaw channel is off. So we're gonna change that by calibrating the sticks in the radio. So hit the systems key, and then page over to where it says hardware, and then select calibration. Calibration, press enter to start, okay? Center sticks, potentiometers, sliders, and press enter. So we'll center the throttle, we'll center pitch and roll. Center those guys and press enter. It says move the sticks to their extremes. Okay, that's pretty good. And then press enter, calibration completed. And you can see on screen that it already got a lot better, like especially the roll channel and the pitch channel. Now we just have to adjust our sub trims. So we'll hit return. And then we'll hit the model key and we'll page over to where it says outputs. Now channel one is the roll channel, so we need to go four points lower on that. So we'll edit that and we'll go to the sub trim value and we'll scroll that value until it says 1500 on screen. There we go, roll is good. So now let's check our endpoints. So that needs to be 2,000 when I roll to the right, and that needs to be 1,000 when I roll to the left. So right here, we'll do min, we'll hold the stick to the left, and we'll adjust that value until we see 1,000. There's one, and then we'll go to the right, and we'll adjust the other value. Now our stick is centered and we have 2,000 to 1,000. So we'll just repeat that process for the pitch, the yaw, and the throttle channel. All right, so the gimbals have been calibrated. We showed you guys on screen how that process is done. Uh, I look forward to flying these things and especially uh, some of the cine lifters that I fly for commercial shoots. So I'm really looking forward to the precise feel of these sticks. Thank you for joining me. Drone Doc out. Chapter three. Um, Episode three. Episode three, part three, in the section three <laughs> of the 333 exemption. <laughs> uh, Just clap it. Yeah, calibrating radio in, in the radio. Just clap it. <laughs> no. We're wasting gigabytes here. Uh, calibrating the stick ins in the radio.
Radio Master TX16, Chapter 3, Exemption 33.